we'll commence reading with verse number 23. That says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for who? For you. This do in what? Somebody say remembrance. In remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. We had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament, and in my blood, this do ye, as often as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. All right, now go to Joshua chapter 4. Don't, 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 don't forget it, he said, in remembrance of me. You got that? In remembrance of me. Joshua chapter 4. When you have it, just say amen. amen. He gives them instructions in the fourth chapter in verse number four. It says, Then Joshua called the twelve men whom he had prepared of the children of Israel out of every tribe of man. Joshua said unto them, Pass over before the ark of Jehovah your God into the midst of Jordan, and take you up, every man of you a stone upon his shoulder, according to the number of tribes of the children of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you, that when your children ask in time to come, saying, What mean ye by these stones? Then ye shall say unto them, Because the waters of Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of Jehovah. When it passed over Jordan, and the waters of Jordan were cut off. And these stones shall be for a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. Amen? Amen. 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 You may be seated. I want you to just tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. Don't, ever don't ever forget. Don't, don't, don't you ever forget. Don't forget. We, we live in a time where it is so easy for us to forget the goodness of the Lord. We live in a time where it is so easy to forget how far the Lord has brought us. <laughs> Have I got a witness in here? But I come to encourage somebody in here today not to ever forget how far the Lord has brought us. And if we be honest in here today, he's brought us from a mighty long way. Sometimes you ought to just look back. Have I got a witness in here? Look back at how far the Lord has brought you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to preach long, so if y'all want to shout, you better come on now. Because all I have to do is think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me and my soul <laughs> to magnify the Lord just thinking of his goodness. I I just come to tell you, don't you ever forget. When we look at this text in the book of Joshua, the Lord has brought the children of Israel out of captivity. Moses has died. And they're now at the banks of the Jordan River. Now, now remember the Jordan River is the last river they got to cross. From, from where they were to where they are going. You, you know Jordan River, one more river that you gotta get over 
Yeah. I, I got one more obstacle, one more situation, one more thing that's blocking me. But once I get over that, I'll be all right. Have I got a witness in here? Anybody ever been at the bank of your Jordan River where you just said, if this thing will get out of my way, I'll be all right? So, so, so it is, they are at the bank of the Jordan River. It's, it's, it's too wide to swim across. Have I got a witness in there? It, it's too long to go around. And so now you're in what's called an impossible situation. Where, where you can't do nothing about it. Anybody ever been there where you're in a situation where all of your skills, all of your training, your education, your background, none of that will help you. If God does not help you, if God does not step in, you will be stuck right there at your Jordan River situation. So they're at the bank. The Bible says that the Lord steps in. God tells them, I'm going to do something for you. He says, I'm going to make the Jordan River back up. So he began to talk to the waters. He said, now listen here, Brother Waters. I know y'all have been flowing for many of years. But on today, I've got to do something for my children. So Brother Waters, I need half of y'all to go on this side. And I need half of y'all to go on that side. And can't you see the waters who've been just flowing all their life saying, this is strange, but God said do it. All right, y'all back up now. Back up, back up, back up. Have I got a witness in here? As the Bible says, the waters begin to back up. And they begin to cross over on dry land. He said, but as you're crossing over, I need 12 folk to pick up some stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel and take the stones out of the Jordan River and take them over to the other side. My brothers and sisters, the first thing I want you to know is that when God does something for you, you should never ever forget where he brought you from. Have I got a witness in here? The, the first thing he did was he brought you out of something and into something. See, he brought them out of the desert and into the promised land. He brought you out of darkness into the marvelous light. He brought you out of sin and into salvation. He always pull you out of something and take you into something. Have I got a witness in here? You got to remember that he brought you out of something. And your something may not be the same thing as somebody else's something. But all of us got a something that he brought us out of. Have I got a witness in here? And so when you start looking around at folk and trying to judge them, remember what he brought you out of. Have I got a witness in here? And he brought us out of something and into something. And watch this. He did it, not you. Some of us are quick to start using that personal pronoun, I. I've been through this and I did this and I did that. No, 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 baby. It wasn't you. If it had not been for the grace and the mercy of the Lord, it was God that did it for you. So you ought to be careful when you start talking about what you done did. And you better start changing your conversation to reflect the goodness of the Lord. You start talking about I did this. And I, I did that. No, no, God did it for you. The Lord brought you out of it. Not only did he bring you out of it, not only was it not you, but you've also got to remember that if you've had a Jordan experience, you've got to be remember and you've got to keep encouraging yourself that you're better off now than you were then. Are you listening?